everyone, welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 9 for this 2016 to 2017 academic year with me, Craig Barton. Now, do you remember when the new specifications for the GCSE Maths were announced, um, whenever it was last year? Um, there was a load of fuss made about the introduction of SUVAT equations, and I for one was panicking because I teach A-level Maths and I avoid mechanics like the plague. Give me stats any day, give me all the core stuff, not a problem. Mechanics, I'm pretty ropey at it, so I was thinking, oh, flipping heck, going to have to learn all my mechanics formulas. But then when the um, sample assessment materials started to appear, it became very apparent that students didn't actually need to know SUVAT to the extent that they do in mechanics. It was merely going to be kind of like a, an exercise in substitution, where students would be given a formula, given a question in context, and essentially asked to substitute numbers in and, and interpret the solution. However, there's still not that many resources around there that give students practice in this. And my fear is that if we just assume it's going to be uh, just like any other substitution into formula exercise, but students haven't actually uh, seen the SUVAP formulas before or, or, or had chance to practice them, there's a chance it could be caught out because they do look a little bit weird. So <laughs> that is all a big preamble to say this resource is absolutely ideal for dealing with that. So lovely title, SUVAT Equations Kinematics by Miss B. Lilly. It's one file and one file only, but what a file it is. So if you download it, it is a PowerPoint file and it looks like this. So it opens up the lovely little starter. Now, this starter could well take the full lesson if your students are anything like mine and that is a little bit dodgy when it comes to converting um, hours to minutes, minutes to hours and working with speed distance time problems. So that, excuse me, is a lovely way to kick start the lesson and essential for all GCSE students. We then get into the SUVAT equations themselves. Now, as I say, there is no um, no requirement for students to memorize these or even fully know what um, what they stand for, but they're all the SUVAT equations that could be used. Um, and then we get into some um, just really nice activities throughout there. So uh, again, just g giving students a chance to interpret these equations, to know which one each means, if I'm given time and acceleration, which formula do I use for initial velocity and so on. And these go on, so little starter activities, maybe get the mini white boards out, maybe get the kids voting, uh, one finger for white, two for yellow, and so on. Um, and that's all nicely animated. And then we get into some lovely little questions here. So again, all about getting the students to choose which uh, equation to use. Now that that's designed, this lesson's been designed with a, an M1 um, A-level focus. But that doesn't mean to say this can't be used at GCSE as well. And then we get into some really nice stuff here. So these are the kind of questions I would um, imagine are going to start appearing in the GCSE. Students will be given the correct formula to use, then told some information and asked to work it out. And I love this. You ready for this? I'm a sucker for a bit of uh, PowerPoint animation. This is quicker than my car here. Look at that. He goes there and reveals the answer. I love any kind of question where any kind of uh, resource on test where the answers are given as well. And notice it's not just the case that you get some substitution in here. You also get that cla um, classic and all too important practice on conversion between different units of measurement. So it's a lovely lesson. Um, loads of worked examples, loads of questions for the students to practice. And then it gets even better because look at this. We've only got a bit of Nando's um, differentiated questions for students to choose from. And by the time you get to the extra hot, they are flipping hard. Um, your lemon and herb um, and your medium are nicely tailored, I think, towards this new GCSE. Again, as long as you give your students the formulas. And the hot and extra hot, well, you can say to the students, look, you're probably not going to be asked questions as hard as this, but this is a little taster of what's to come if you sign on to do uh, maths A-level next year. So there you go. I just thought that was a really nice resource to, um, to tackle um, some of the new content stuff. Oh, notice as well the answers are provided to this and a lovely little ending to a lesson. I like, I like that. Dear future me, write yourself a little little note of the things you've learned and what you're going to do differently um, in the future. So just an, a nice resource for just boxing off that topic. And, and even if the students get confused throughout it, the key thing here is that they have seen these equations so that when these pop up in the exam, they're not thinking, oh God, I've not been taught this and so on. It's just getting students familiar with that. So there you go, SUVAT equations. If you like that, hop, uh, hop onto the resource page and leave a little review. And I shall return with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care and farewell for now.